Question 35. Take one minute to do this. Try to do it within one minute and come back and let's see what you get. All right. Now, the vector AB maps the point 3, 2 onto negative 1, 5. Then AB is, well, this seems like a translation vector. All right. Let's see what happened. You have A, B, plus 3, 2 equals negative 1, 5. What this is really saying, right, is that A plus 3 is equal to negative 1 and B plus 2 is equal to 5. So, A plus 3 is negative 1. Subtract 3 from both sides. You minus 3, minus 3. 3 minus 3 leaves A only. Get rid of 3. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. A is negative 4. Already, you can get rid of C and D. Those wouldn't work out. Here now, what about B? You say B plus 2. If you subtract 2 here and subtract 2 here, 2 minus itself, this is 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. So you have B alone equal 5 minus 2 is 3. So what you have is negative 4, 3. So A, B is the vector. A is negative 4 and B is 3. So it would be A for the answer. So the answer is A in this case. All right. Now, just as a, another side note, sometimes you might feel more comfortable doing a little sketch. 3, 2. So let's say 3 is here and 2 is here. You have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. The point P would be here. Then P prime. Negative 1, 5. You go negative 1. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's about here. So P prime. So it moves. Uh, what you do is have a movement from here to here. So you can see it's a slide. It's a translation. Now, you would have moved negative 4 in the x direction if you go from negative 3 you have negative 3 you have 1 2 3 4 you go negative you i mean 3 3 to 2 to 1 to 0 to negative 1 you would have moved four places horizontally to the left so the top number means x and you would have moved negative 4 with x. Negative 4. You move 4 places. That means 4 at the top. And it's to the left. From p to p prime, you would have to move to the left. So it's a negative 4. Good. Then, from 2 to 5, how many places do you move? You go from 2 to 3. That's one place. 3 to 4, that's a second place. 4 to 5, that's 3 places. So you move 3 places up. You move 3 units up. So it's a positive 3. Because you move upward. Going down would be negative, but going up is positive along the y direction. So y, you move 3 places up. So it's a positive 3, which corresponds to this. That's another way you could do it using a sketch and doing the graph, alright? So, answer for question 35 is A.